everybody, it's Colette with Blessing Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make one last project with a mushroom theme. We're going to make a mushroom cute little pot. So we're going to first start with this air dry clay. I got it from Dollar General. It was like a buck. So we're going to make little balls, okay? Little balls. We may pick from them eventually, but that's where we're going to start. Now, basically, you could use a wood bead. I'm just using this doorknob thing, um, and I'm just going to kind of mold it, mold the air dry clay around it. This stuff is super light, super flexible, super cool, right? All right. So I have this and I'm kind of measuring it up to my pot that I had from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to put this onto the pot. Now, I don't know what kind of crazy pants awesomeness is happening here, but the air dry clay actually adheres to the terracotta pot. I don't know how. It's, it's amazing though. <laughs> and then I do like a little, um, we're trying to do a stem. So I just did a little bit of a stem. I'm trying to think of how to describe it. It's, it's, it's like a little log almost, um, a little bit fatter on the bottom than on the top. And then I adhere that to the pot. And then I use this little Dollar Tree tool and I'm going underneath, just making little lines just to make it even more lifelike. You can adjust and kind of move the um, the little mushrooms all over. If you wanted to put more embellishments on your little mushrooms, you could do that where I took a little piece and rolled it and then um, put it flat. Then we're going to paint the whole thing with some white chalk paint. And I'm using smaller brushes here and there just to make sure that it gets in the nooks and crannies. Now keep in mind, I first let it dry for, goodness, a couple days. Then once our white paint is all dry... I paint with some, this is just a chalk paint, and I think the color is oatmeal, something like that. You could use any color you wanted. Um, and I'm just going to paint the stem and the underside of the mushroom. Now, again, I did many mushrooms. I think I did a total of five. You could do as many or as few as you want. Um, but look how cool these look. <laughs> they look so cool. All right. So next, we're going to use some more chalk paint. This one is a sage color, and I'm going to paint one of the tops in the sage. Um, again, you know, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, you should have painted the white after. But you know what? I think it didn't matter which way I did it. You just got to be careful painting it on, right? Um, this is a cute little like rosy pink that I'm going to paint some more. And then this one is yellow and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to paint on that. And again, this is just the top and the edge of that top or the cap of the mushroom. So cute. And then we're going to use our makeup brush and dip it in some white paint and do a bunch of dots, as many or as few as you want. Um, I think, you know, part of me was like, I should have probably just stopped here with the pretty dots and left it alone because look at how adorable this is. But, you know, I can't stop there. <sighs> Sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. I think it worked, but I sanded it a little bit to just give it a little bit of a distressed look. And then I used some back of my brushes to do some more dots, little polka dots all over the place with different colors. And then I sealed it with a coat of glossy Mod Podge. And are you kidding me? Look at, <clears throat> look at how pretty this is. Yes, it's for my daughter. I think she loves it. She says she did. I am totally there for it. We use it for pencils, but you could put plants in this. Anyways, friends, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this inspires you. I thank you for watching.